right, this is day 47, part two. Walking at least one mile every day, 47 consecutive days. I've already done 1.15 miles in part one, and now we're gonna head back. So I'll put the uh, camera on, we'll get going. this is part two I gotta start the watch don't let me forget put in your guesses how long I'll go how long it'll take I did 1.15 miles I'm at the ocean today I'm gonna walk up this block and walk back down the towards the ocean again part one I did uh, from the car down the ocean down the strand at 1.15 this is part two I'm gonna head back so put in your guess how long it'll take how far i'll go somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.15 i assume but i did forget to stop the watch a little started the watch a little late Let's see what this restaurant is taco licious obviously mexican Never eaten there before. Never even been in there. What's this one called? Dash Dash Sushi. Never been in there before either. A lot of new places since I've been in here. Now we'll walk up one more block around these stores and then go back down. Well, that's a good view of the beach, huh? The pier. One block up by the stores and then walk. Next. Oh, who's that store? Next street, we'll head back down towards the ocean. Bow Bridges Gallery. I don't know if that's the. It's kind of a famous name, but I don't know. This is Manhattan Beach. Never walked with a channel down this street. I've been down this street many a times. Alright, we'll walk down here, back towards the ocean. I think I'm gonna go back up the street and walk down the main street down the pier that was such a nice view just a block up here very picturesque walking down the towards the Manhattan Beach Pier the Skechers show store I think their headquarters is here not too far oh I'm not really sure but I think so Beach Pier there. It's a nice, such a nice view. Walk straight down towards it. Walk down the beach, down the strand. A lot of people eating at the Rocket Beach today. I've eaten there a few times, but I haven't eaten there in a few years. I'm not going to walk to the end of the pier today. Do that another day. But I wanted to 
walk down the street towards the pier. Urban's turning around or something. Heading back up. I guess he didn't see that the, the parking down here. All right. I'm now walking down to the end of the pier. That was it. So I walked back up the strand on the walk path. Don't get run over by a bike or something. Same dog. I don't think. Oh, that's cute. It's just Anthony. We're just going to do it. It does suck. But then after that, we have. Seeing the same people I already walked past the first time. They're all coming back. Look at the parking lot's like half full. Driven down here in part. There's that humongous crane that's building a house down there. Uh, those guys so happy to be out. I haven't seen that surfing statue before. That's new. Look at all those volleyball courts. Nobody's out on them. Count the number of people I see on the beach. There's some one person in the water down there. Look. I don't know if you can see them. There's two people walking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I see eleven, maybe twelve, thirteen, fourteen people. We're on a whole half a mile of the beach. There's a lot of courts with no net up. Look at all that. It is kind of cool today though. If it were sunny, there'd be a lot of people laying out. All these houses, the thing that's down on the strand, it's like every house looks different from the one right next to it. Look. Completely different. I mean, look at this house. This is like a round shape. Next to it, it's like a Cape Codish. This one house is built 20, 30 years. This one's about 20 or 30 years older than this one. It's more modern. The guy sitting at his breakfast table. Looking out at the ocean. Stony-ish. These houses all seem much, much bigger than Hermosa. I think they all have three floors. Hermosa it seemed like mostly two floors. A lot of these houses have three. I haven't seen one with four. Maybe there's some type of code. It can only go so high, I assume. going to see any vintage, vintage cars on this walk. I lost track of the dogs a long time ago. The people love to walk their dogs down here. But the dogs are not allowed on the beach. You can walk them on the strand but not on the beach. Thanksgiving race, turkey truck race. Used to 
to walk by this house all the time. I remember they used to have a, a motorcycle in the in it because it's all glass. He had a motorcycle in his living room. But I don't think he does anymore. He probably sold that house. Somebody else is there now. That motorcycle was there for a long time. No more. shirt off. It must be hot. He's running on the walking path. Here's your you run on the walking path. There's a runner on the bike path. Hey, you can see the... No, I can see it. I don't know if the camera can see it. The 90210 house from here. I cannot remember that girl's name in real life. Donna was her name on the show that she lived there, but I can't remember her father's name. He's super famous and he had like a 48,000 square foot mansion in Beverly Hills, I think. He did all kinds of shows. And I can't remember his name, but he had a, she had a falling out with him and they kind of disowned her after i don't know how much after the show but i don't know i think he left her any inheritance mother kept it all i don't know if she ever got any of it already had another 0.6 miles Definitely going to be over 1.15. It's time I get to the car. Kind of hot, too. There's some people actually playing volleyball. They're the first group we've seen the whole trip. They don't look too enthralled with it. Maybe they're tourists and they just wanted to play volleyball on the beach. They don't make the Oh, serve over the net. There's two more dogs. I have no idea how many that is. Lab, chocolate lab. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're pretty good. You know, I'm kind of like, like what I'm excited about it was like I'm doing what I was doing, right? Um, Australian Shepherd. Hi, you could probably see the 90210 house pretty good from here. think of her name as soon as I turn the camera off. Yeah, write down in the comments if you've, uh, if you've ever walk, if you're walking on the beach or you have a nice place you like to walk all the time, you're playing along and it'd be interesting to know where people are walking if you walk around and loop in a neighborhood or you go to different places or you have a beach you can go walk I need to about I'm about two miles from the beach but I come down here sometimes easier just to get out of walk out of the house and start walking 
time I drive down here and drive back, I could have already walked. It's interesting to get different size. I don't know what that is that's washed up over there. Look at that. It's a big tree limb or something. See it down there? I don't know. I never see that before. Interesting. All right, here's the back of the 90210 house. We're getting all angles today. Oh, this is the second tape, so if people didn't see it from if you didn't watch the first part. It's a 90210 house, Beverly Hills 90210 house. TV show that was on in the 90s. Super popular. Jason Priestley, Luke Perry, The Long Sideburns. People love that show. This is the beach house where they uh, filmed uh, the exterior where Donna lived. Obviously, they didn't film the interior here. That was all on a set in Van Nuys, I believe. They, they interviewed some of the actors, said they hated shooting in Van Nuys. Hot, 110 in the summer, sweaty. Get a view of the house here. The house was in the show, it used to be white with the blue awnings. Now they painted it that gray. Everybody wants everything gray. Cars are gray, houses are gray, got dull gray. But that's it. That's the famous 90210 house. I was struggling. You want to see the 90210 house again? It was in part one of today's video. This is part two. Part one, I did 1.15. I'm gonna be over that today. I'm already at 0.85. So it'll definitely be a little bit longer about the, now. Well, I might end the video at the, uh, down here at the ocean. That's always kind of neat. So maybe I ended at 1.15. Do both of them, 1.15 and uh, end this with an ocean view. Yeah, this is Hermosa now. Some of these houses are three-story as well, so I guess maybe I was just imagining that. It's a nice three-story, this newer house. Black. I don't know, if I'm at the beach, I don't think I'd paint my house black. The sky blue or now this car. The house went for the gray. German Shepherd barking at people. German Shepherds are super protective. The president had to just get rid of his dog. He had a German Shepherd. It bit 24 Secret Service agents, I think. It was the second dog he gotten rid of. They both German Shepherds. And they both bit a ton of Secret Service agents. Now they get a Labrador friendliest dogs in America. I haven't walked down here in a while. So probably been at least a year. So different right next to each other. Oh well, that looks like a press board on that house. I'm sure it's not. What the heck is Right next to a house completely different. Whoa, look out. He almost took a tumble. see the sun today, maybe a little bit. It's the cliffs of Palos Verdes over there. No beach. 
no beach down there. This uh, house is built on cliffs. It's on the news where several houses south of here on Dana Point were built on huge cliffs and they're falling into the ocean. It's all the uh, rain we've had. I hope it, I'd be kind of leery of actually living on a cliff. But, hey, Tony Robbins used to live in Palos Verdes on a cliff. It's pretty dangerous. Built 20, 20, 30 million dollar house. Build it on a cliff, you have a great view, but get a lot of rain and your house falls off into the ocean. I guess if you have that much money, you can build another. Wow, look at this house. It's a newer one that looks kind of has a farm motif. Closed up for the winter. That looks new. I don't recall seeing that, seeing that property, but it's a brand new house, I think. They closed up for the winter, it looks like. Here comes a golden retriever. He looks off like that. I think this is about where I came up. Yeah, we'll do 1.15 out, 1.15 back. Man, that looks like a big house too, look at that. They look like they're closed up for the winter too. Maybe these are all beach homes for these people. They live somewhere else in the winter. Come here in the summer. And that's some beautiful views, windows. Up, on, up top in the first part of the walk and I didn't see these houses. There's some construction on this one. be a lot more people down here this weekend although I said it might rain tonight tonight tomorrow so might not be a big beach weekend this house oh, I got a nice big patio tons of windows nice what a view the whole thing is windows I like that it's gorgeous is a never get any big waves uh, got a hundred yards of ocean of sand before you get to the ocean it would take tsunami like waves to get to these houses I mean it's possible but yeah, it's like the humongous beach to get to the ocean like a, at least a hundred yards I'd say Here's one for rent. Let's see. One year lease. And it's only ten thousand a month, and you get two bedrooms and one bath, and a laundry room and appliances included. Oh boy. Well, it says a third bedroom with an ocean view, but it only says two bedrooms. Ten thousand a month, and you can live on the strand. You spend a hundred thousand dollars for a year and it's gone. Ten thousand a month. I wonder why they didn't make it nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Kind of a Spanish motif on this house. But it was like and then you got this, I don't know what kind of New England style. People up there are actually in it. Yeah, that's all right. 
that's it kind of interesting different view than what I normally walk in the video here take a look out at the ocean towards Palos Verdes and that's it for the day part one and part two so if you like the video subscribe check out I'll put a link to some of the other videos a video you probably like check out some of the other videos and that's it be back tomorrow hopefully not in the rain bye